like you should be, right? Why lift weights in a gym when you're going to have fantastic weather? That's right. Move that weight bench outside and pump some iron with these clouds around. It'll give you some motivation. We are tracking out some showers to our west, but for the most part, we're going to stay dry here across the Tennessee Valley. Spotty activity as far as rain goes in our northern zone. So there is a possibility of a shower or two, but I think Chattanooga southbound stays dry. A little bit of fog out there this morning as well. Visibility less than a mile along the Cumberland Plateau and then back into the Blue Ridge Mountains. Also some reduced visibility, so please give yourself just a little extra time for your temperatures mid 50s across the entire Tennessee Valley. It has been a very mild stretch of weather really dating back to uh, we'll say the end of December. It's been not much of a winter here across the Tennessee Valley. With that being said, going to be another mild day. 64 in Athens, 62 in Blue Ridge, 59 in Altima and 66 in Chattanooga. And as we track out the next several hours again, there's going to be a few showers streaming through. Uh, I do think, you know, Dunlap Athens, you have a decent shot of a stray shower as we go into the mid morning, early afternoon. Then as the day progresses, any moisture dries up. We'll still have a lot of cloud cover around. There could be a peak of sunshine or two, especially later today. And then overnight, we're going to have maybe a shower or two. Very light, still some cloud cover. And for your Monday, we're going to be tracking our next system. So this isn't going to give us a ton of rain, but there will be some scattered showers, mainly after about 11 a.m. into the early afternoon. Notice the activity very sparse. And then going into Monday evening, we dry out. So this is a very quick moving system. But ahead of this front that's going to be pushing through, there will be some severe storms, mainly into the Ohio Valley. We could have a rumble of thunder here across the Tennessee Valley. Really not looking at too much of a severe threat as we go into your Monday. But you still want to tie down some of those loose outdoor items because we're talking wind advisories in effect going at 10 a.m until 7 p.m. So they go into effect at 10 a.m. and will continue throughout much of Monday. Gust as high as 45 miles per hour. And again, these advisories stretch all the way to western North Carolina. So the entire coverage area will be under a wind advisory by the time Monday rolls around. We're also going to have quite a bit of rain next week. So enjoy your Tuesday because that is going to be a fantastic day. Rain moves in late Wednesday. Thursday and Friday look to be quite damp as well. And here's a look at your future cast rainfall. Now this takes us all the way through next weekend. So, you know, this could change a little bit, but it gives us at least an idea of how much rain will be possible and where that heavy rain may set up by the end of next week. Again, a wide swath of one to three inches across Tennessee, North Alabama and portions of North Georgia. There could also be a severe aspect with this. Now this is several days away, so this may evolve a little differently, but there will be a severe threat Thursday, mainly across the mid south, the usual suspects, Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas and portions of Louisiana, and then this shifts into our area Friday, so we may have to watch Friday closely again. Still several days away, but we'll keep you updated here. Local 3 News. Here's a look at your forecast for your Sunday 66 morning fog, mostly cloudy the rest of the day. Stray shower for our northern areas tonight. 55 mostly cloudy and mild south winds at 5 to 10. Windy tomorrow, which of course is Monday mid 70s, remaining mild through Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday. More rain, Angela.